accounting equations. These are some of the accounting equations I refer to um, during my lecture notes for specific chapters for Wild the sixth edition. These are the accounting equations by chapters, chapters 1 through 11. So we see in chapter 1 we're looking at some very basic information. We are looking first at the accounting equation. So assets are equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets on the, the left hand side of the balance sheet are primarily debit based. Liabilities and owner's equity which are on the right hand of the accounting equation and the if you would want to say at the right side of the balance sheet, they're primarily a credit base. So they're going to increase with the credit, whereas the, de the assets are going to increase with the debit. So we can see that these assets, very basic assets, are all going to increase with the debit. And if we want to decrease them, we're going to decrease them with the credit. We note that assets are always found on the balance sheet. We have one very basic liability account. We note that it is increased with a credit. And we also note that all of the liabilities are found on the balance sheet. So you will never find an asset or a liability on any other financial statement except for the balance sheet. This is not so for the owner's equity. You will find owner's equity in a variety of financial statements. So owner's equity is primarily credit based. So when we issue common stock, since it's increasing owner's equity, it's going to increase with the credit. And we will always find common stock on the balance sheet and no other place. Not so for retained earnings. Since it also increases owner's equity, it's going to increase with the credit. However, ending retained earnings we will find both on the balance sheet as well as the statement of retained earnings. So this account is the only account we will find in, as an ending balance, ending retained earnings on both the balance sheet and the statement of retained earnings. Now dividends, because they decrease owner's equity, they're going to be debit based because they're decreasing what is primarily a credit based account owner's equity. Dividends will increase with the debit and they will only be found on the statement of retained earnings. Revenue. Revenue, since it increases owner's equity, it is going to be credit based. So uh, revenue is going to increase with the credit and it will only be found on the income statement. Expenses, since they decrease owner's equity, they're going to increase with the debit and they will only be found on the income statement. So two things that you will always find on the income statement and no place else will are revenue and expenses. Statement of retained earnings is the only spot you will find dividends. Retained earnings, ending retained earnings, the ending calculation you'll find both on the balance sheet and statement of retained earnings. And then common stock you will only find on the balance sheet. Now let's look at chapter 2. Again, we have a longer listing of assets, but again, they're only increased here with the debit, decreased with the credit. Liabilities, again, increasing with the credit. We have a longer list now, so in each six subsequent chapter, as we go through it, we'll add accounts based upon what we're learning in that chapter. And then we have the same information that we had originally on Chapter 1, um, the same um, owner's equity accounts, same financial statements. So now in Chapter 2, we're just increasing the number of accounts that we're looking at. In Chapter 3, we're also increasing the number of accounts because this is the first time we're going to run across accumulated depreciation which is a contra asset account and it as an a, a, under the asset category and found on the balance sheet under assets it is going to be increased with the credit so that's the first one that's going to be a little bit different when we talk about assets so that's the only one because it is in contra to equipment accumulated depreciation so therefore it's going to be credit based accumulated I'm sorry equipment is debit based and here for the first time under the expenses we see a new expense called depreciation expense and it's being highlighted shown that it increases with the debit and then the subsequent chapters uh, some chapters there won't be any difference in the number of accounts that are added chapters 4 and 5 we begin to look at cost of goods sold uh, sales discounts sales returns and allowances 
These are contra sales accounts, and they're going to increase with the debit. Uh, sales or revenue are primarily credit based. And so as we go through each chapter, um, memorizing these as well as referring to these will help you learn and understand the concepts and will also always keep you oriented until you understand the logic of the accounting equation. You can at least memorize and keep up with um, getting good grades uh, throughout the, the time that you're learning accounting principles um, until the point in time where it all kind of just clicks for you. So chapter 6, uh, we're learning about cash um, over and short, adding that, and a lot of the same uh, accounts are, that were there previously there are still here now. Uh, chapter 7, we're beginning to learn about the allowance for doubtful accounts um, and a bad debt expense, so we're adding those to it. Chapters 8 and 9 are primarily the same, um, except for now we're adding some accruals and payables and things of that nature and um, gains and, and disposals on assets. So we're learning a little bit about assets. Uh, chapter 10, um, we are learning some more about bonds. This is a new um, um, accounts that we'll be dealing with is bonds, bonds payable, losses on bond retirement, gain on bond retirement. And chapter 11 is one of the last chapters where you'll be dealing with accounts and uh, we'll be looking at uh, preferred stock for the first time, uh, paid in capital and excess par, treasury stock, common stock dividend distributable, and things of that nature as well as um, dividend payable. So that's a listing of all of the uh, accounting equations for each individual chapters. I hope they help you as you begin to learn these topics.